What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the Lemon Squeezy payments, tax and subscription management platform and its different features and benefits for your business. So let's get right to it. First of all, you need to go to their website, that's lemonsqueezy.com and you will land on their homepage right here. Now, they can manage your payments, your taxes, your subscriptions, and as you scroll down, you can learn more features about the platform. So they have global tax compliance, so they can manage your tax. You can manage your SAS payments. You can have instant payment methods. And if you tap on any like uh, features, you can learn more about it. So you can, uh, they can help you manage or accept payments in many ways, such as credit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and others. You have local currency support. You can choose your local currency and they do have it and you get AI fraud prevention and failed payment recovery. Now, if you scroll down, you can see some of the payment pages here that they provide as well as some features. So you can accept online payments. You can also manage recurring billing and subscriptions. So if you are selling a service that required like a weekly or monthly subscription, like recurring payment, this can help you manage it as well. Now, you can manage license key, sell digital downloads, and more. Now, you can scroll down to learn more features, see some screenshots about the platform here, and uh, all it can do for you. Now, let's take a look at their pricing pretty quickly. If you click on pricing, you can see here that they do have e-commerce plan and email marketing plan. The email marketing plan is free. The e-commerce plan, they charge you per sale. So 5% plus 50 cents, that's uh, like a fixed amount. And here you can choose the number of subscribers for the marketing plan here. It's free up to 500 subscribers. And here for the e-commerce plan, you can see the features. Now, let's go ahead and get started or you can sign in if you do already have an account. Now, you can sign up with Google or Twitter or with email, so I'm going to enter my name and my email to continue the sign-up process. Okay, and once I added all my details, create an account, and of course, I need to confirm my email address, so they sent me an email confirmation. I need to click on the link in the email, so I'm going to do so pretty quickly. And after I confirm or verify my email, I need to add my store name. Store URL will be generated here, so my store name .com, and the country. So my store name, let's add how to simple. And as you can see here, I can add a store URL. So how to simple dot lemon dot com and I'll create my store and I'm redirected to my main dashboard. Now here I have the home and I'm on the setup now and they tell me the steps needed to continue setting up my account. So here I can, I have already created my store and added my email and so on. Now, I need to enable live payment and all the features to activate my store, verify my identity, like adding my personal information, creating my first product, adding discounts codes, and others. So here, let's, for example, activate the store here. And I need to add my information, such as my address, my city, and my website URL to continue this step. So we are going to skip this setup right now. Let's go to home here. And here, of course, I get some statistics, but it's all empty because I haven't added anything yet. This is the newly created account. If I go to store, I can see my products, my orders, subscriptions, customers, discounts, license, and more. So let's go to products, for example. And here I haven't added any products yet. So click on new product to add a product. I can add the product name, let's say test product. So this is a digital product description. This is a test product. Okay, and the pricing, it's a single payment, a subscription-based service or uh, item, lead magnet, and pay what you want. So if I'm like offering an application and um, I will ask customers to pay what they want, I can uh, do so. In the subscriptions here, this is a standard pricing or package pricing, graduated pricing, volume prices, let's say standard. The price per unit, let's say it's $100 and the payment will be repeated every month. So uh, if a person subscribes to this product or service, they'll pay me $100 per month. That's the uh, price. Now here I have some advanced settings like usage is metered. Okay, so I can charge customers based on usage here. 
or subscribe subscription has a free trial let's say yes subscription includes a set of fee i can add a set of fee like one time payment at the beginning let's say a ten dollar payment okay now the tax category here it's a digital goods or ebooks or software and here i can add an image to my product let's add an image from my computer i'll just add a random image okay let's add this one for example of course if you are selling like an ebook or a digital product or a digital course you would add the cover photo now i can add the files the download files the uh, which are the products themselves so the ebook itself the video files for the course or the software that you are uh, like uh, selling here i can add links i can add variants to the product if it has variants and i can here add the confirmation model and like uh, the email receipt that the customer will have to a thank you note like thank you for buying my product okay the button text and the button link okay publish product now the product is saved and here i already have one product ready now in the orders i can view all my orders and of course here i can make i do have to need to make my first sale now for subscriptions i can view all my subscription information and of course since i don't have any yet i can add a new subscription here and i can view all my customers and here i can create a new product to get my first or of course i need to make a sale to get my first customer the discounts where i can add discount codes now the discount where i can add discount codes so here i can create a new discount code for like general here the name is like discount or let's say summer sale now the code it generates a random code i can keep it or i can like enter my own the amount is like um 20 percent here i can choose a percentage discount or a fixed amount so let's say i want to uh discount like ten dollars that's a fixed discount no matter what product you buy let's keep it as percentage so 20 percent off for the products it applies to all products or specific products in this case i need to find a product and i only have one which i'll apply the discount to and now discount has a start date has an expiry date limit the number of redemption so the uh, across all customers so let's say i have a discount or i'll create a discount for this product that will end after 100 sales for all customers not only one and here it can apply every month so i can have for example like the first two days of the month or five days or whatever this uh, discount will apply so if i add a start date let's say it'll start at the first of august here set start date and I can set the expiry date as well, limit the number of redemptions, and I add discount apply every like one month, or I can leave it as forever. Now schedule discount, okay, and now the discount is safe. And here I have the licenses, of course I need to set up license keys. Now in the email, I can set up email marketing campaigns here. I have broadcasts, which are the broadcast list here. Of course I need to enable email marketing first, and here are the subscribers for my email marketing campaign. So let's enable the email marketing. Okay, and I need to set up an active store. So let's go ahead and get back. And here I have affiliates. I can view an overview of my affiliates. And I need to enable affiliates. And of course, if I click on enable affiliates here, I can get to the affiliate settings. So let's save the changes for now. And let's go back here. I have the clicks referrals payouts and creatives and here i have my settings so all the settings general domain integrations and so on so if i click on integrations let me show you the integrations i can integrate with apps like mailchimp convertkit and zapier here connect of course my accounts so uh, here i have the design i can design or have a general theme here or color palette that will be applied I can choose the theme and I can choose the button color and the button text color. So to design my theme, I can add my logo and my favorite account right here. And here I need to activate my store by adding my business details in order to start selling. So that was like a quick overview of the Lemon Squeezy payment management and email marketing and uh, selling platform and its different features.